In October 2007, human bones were discovered at Kernel near Botany Bay, south of Sydney, during an excavation of sand dunes for the construction of a new desalination plant. The first bone to be discovered was a shin bone. The following week, ribs and other smaller bones were discovered approximately 300 metres away in sandy scrubland near Sir Joseph Banks Drive. Shortly after, a pelvis and foot bones that were found in a sock were also found nearby. Investigations reveal that it is possible that the bones are those of three possible couples. Alan Martin Fox and Anika Nicolette Adriansen, Stephen Lapthorne and Michelle Pope, or Leslie Toshak and Joanne Lacey. Forensic tests concluded that the bones are of a male and female who died less than 50 years ago. The age of the bones was more accurately predicted to be from some time in the 1970s onwards. The first couple, Stephen Lapthorne and Michelle Pope, who disappeared in 1978. The second couple, Alan Fox and Anika Adriansen, who disappeared in 1979. And the third couple, Leslie Toshak and Joanne Lacey, who disappeared in 1981. Forensic tests concluded that the bones are of a male and female who died less than 50 years ago. The age of the bones was more accurately predicted to be from some time in the 1970s onwards, which was determined by some of the rubbish found with the bones. Carbon dating tests were conducted in New Zealand and the bones have been sent to the US for extraction of mitochondrial DNA, which concluded that the bones belong to three different people. It has been ruled out that the bones belong to persons of Aboriginal descent, which was considered a high possibility due to being found in Cornell, which has a large Aboriginal population. It has been speculated that the remains are of the victims of convicted underworld figure Arthur Nettie Smith, who allegedly disposed of bodies in botany. However, the police remain sceptical of this. Former homicide detective Mick McGann said, Nettie definitely used the area around Foreshore Drive for disposing of bodies in the 1980s. The Cornell site where the bones were found is also a short distance from the unsolved murders of Christine Sharrett and Marion Schmidt, known as the Wanda Beach murders, in January 1965, and whose bodies were located in sand dunes on Cronulla's Wanda Beach. New South Wales police have considered that the bones of the male person may be that of missing hitman Christopher Dale Flannery, who disappeared in 1985. Other theories about where the bones might have come from include missing prostitute and informant Lynn Woodward, playboy and small-time drug dealer Mark Johnson, or a previously unknown serial killer. Police believe the jawbone discovered may belong to Lynn Woodward, who disappeared in the 1980s after making accusations against police in the shooting of Warren Lenfranchi by Roger Rogerson. The bones found at Cornell remain unidentified, and DNA tests remain inconclusive in relation to all ten of these victims, and the case remains unsolved to this day.